Good morning! It's so crap and it sucks when you can't go just under that 70 kilogram mark. And hubby can't go under 92 or 91. 91. So he's washing the car. And then um, we're going to go mother care. Where's Darren? Why are you whinging? Why are you whinging? Why are you whinging? You didn't see your camera today. Hmm? He's had a very rough night. So much noise, like the the um, tumble dryer and him washing the car. Anyway, he's had a very rough night yesterday because he he somehow woke up at twelve o'clock. And then um, Daddy Bear didn't want him to go down, so he played with him. And then I nursed him, I tried to put him back down to his cot, he didn't sleep, so I let him stay in his cot, and then he slept about half one on his own. And then he got up about at half, quarter past four again. I nursed him, and then he fell asleep, but when I put him down into his cot, he woke up again, and then he didn't go down until seven o'clock. And my mum came to get him and I said let me nurse him and then you could take him so I nursed him she took him and she says she he only slept for about 30 minutes and then imagine from 7 o'clock having 20 minutes nap and then 11 o'clock he only had about 15 minutes nap and he still hasn't gone down I mean this teething problem is really annoying him and me it's so frustrating for him because he's not even a whingy baby he's not a cry baby and bless him it probably hurts him so much that he can't even go to sleep i've used those powders um twice today and i'm going to use it again just before we go out because i think it's helping him um his hands are less in his mouth so i guess it kind of soothes him but i'm going to go and grab his teething um giraffe and see if that kind of helps him but that's our last night. I mean, we've had a very rough night yesterday, but thank God my mum was home, so she took care of him in the morning while I got some sleep. We're going on an adventure, just you and me. I'm joking, I'm being silly with Darren's story, that's what it says. Listen to this. One, two, three, stop the engine, turn the key. We're going on an adventure, just you and me. We've just come to Mother Care to get our draft. We've just come to go for a big draft. It's quite loud here, so I can't really talk much. And we've gone for the bigger giraffe, and that's the one that I really wanted. Anyway, and I've bought him some shampoo as well. I don't know. And I got you some teething powder, another one. And I also got you new bibs that had a teething part. Let's show it. Where's that bib gone, babe? Where's the bib? Ooh. Ooh. Yep, so I've brought these 
their bibs and it's got these teething parts here. <laughs> I don't know if he's going to like it. Why are you laughing? Oh. And this is our giraffe. Our giraffe. Oh yes, and this is the new powder that I bought. It's from Ashton and Parsons. Um, I've heard that somebody used this and they really liked it, so I'm going to give it a try. That's my little ball there, yes. Little ball. There's a baby weighing scale here for sale, but we're going to use it and we're doing. I know he's got his clothes on and a nappy, but he's he has an empty stomach, so that can balance it out. <laughs> exactly 10. Well, yeah, 9.90, Yep. Hey, you big fatty. Hey, you big fatty. That's a lot. You should not, you know, big fatty baby. <laughs> oh my God. What do you think about this? Because he ends up falling asleep in the car seat and he hurts his neck. There's so many like the these. What do you think about this monkey? What do you think about this monkey? Do you like it? Do you like this monkey? Do you like this monkey? Just a cute cheeky 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 monkey. Because he has a big head though. We're just with other grandma and granddad. Harry's looking at cars again. We're at Istanbul restaurant and look at this. Wow. We're just leaving Istanbul restaurant now. Bye today, man. We had a very yummy, delicious um, dinner. If you want to come, it's called Istanbul restaurant in North East London, where it's in North London, but it's very close to East, so it's just like in the border. There's a very broad menu that you can pick from. If you do ever come here, please um, let me know and take a picture of what you eat. We're home and Darren's being loved again just before he goes to sleep it's actually past his bedtime routine but never mind the later he goes to sleep today i think the later he will wake up because he did not sleep at all yesterday so and he just pooped again and he pooped again and again <laughs> you're a peaky peaky baby why is he keep burping every time he looks at me <laughs> because you don't like people burping so he burps <laughs> We're home. I've been working on writing a schedule for Darren's routine because um, I'm trying to encourage him on a routine but it's just driving me crazy. Have a look. I mean that's like the second page that I've been doing but um, what I've been doing since he was born is just put him to sleep whenever he's tired so it was adult baby led routine more than adult led but now i'm just trying to make it a bit more adult led rather than baby led because if i go along with what he wants then he doesn't get enough of what he's meant to get such as sleep he doesn't get enough of sleep during the daytime because he never sleep he only has cat naps of 20 to 30 minutes and we all know that that's not enough he has it four times a day four cat naps a day half an hour each that's only two hours during the daytime from 6 30 till 8 30 to, to the time that he sleeps that's not enough so that's what i'm trying to work on so that i can encourage him to have more nap i know when i nurse him after he wakes up and sleep with him then he does go on for longer but 
I'm not going to always be there, especially after September when I start when I start working again. I'm not going to be there to help him sleep for longer. So I don't know. I need to work on this before it gets too late because I know this is the time that I need to work on. Otherwise, by the time he's seven, eight months, he's just going to get used to me even more. So I don't know, and I don't like the fact. I don't like it. I don't, and I don't like when babies cry. So. And I don't like it when babies cry, so I don't want him to, I don't want to put him to his cot and then make him cry to sleep, cry for sleep. That's not me. So we're just going to see. I don't know. I mean, this is what I've been doing since we got back after I put Dylan to sleep. As you can see, he's just been, oh. <laughs> as you can see, he's just, oh, not anymore, but. He was wobbling a bit. I did put his sleeping bag on him today because it's actually cold in the room. I mean, it says it's 23 degrees, but um, our window is a slight. Our window is slightly open, so and then all the breeze just go in, all the wind, and it gets very cold. But he seems to be cozy right now. I've put his sleeping bag on today. And I don't know if you can see, but there you go. He's got his sleeping bag on today because it's actually very cold in the room, although it says it's 23 degrees inside. But our window kind of lets breeze go through. Our windows let the breeze go through, so it gets a bit chilled inside. So yeah, I think he's more cozy today. Mm. He was so tired today, we was just like everywhere. But oh my god, did you see the way he was just like biting that giraffe? I knew he loved that giraffe, seriously. With Darren, the, the bad thing with him is he's so stubborn. You won't be able to, you won't be able to give him a toy that you like. He has to like it for him to actually hold it. Otherwise he won't even look at it. I had that teething ring that I tried to give him today. He did not even take it.